a splash of blue among the urban grey. A habitat of diverse flora and fauna. Over 200 species of flowering plants and over 70 species of birds, some of them migratory. This is the Simbakkam Lake in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. An oasis amidst a concrete jungle. A part of a once extensive network of urban wetlands in the Chennai area. But just four years ago, the scenario was quite different. Like many water bodies in urban India, Simbakkam Lake too was in distress. Rapid urbanization around the lake meant that it was choking from the dumping of raw sewage, rubbish and other detritus of a burgeoning metropolis. In 2018, the Nature Conservancy, India, in association with the Care Earth Trust and the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, started a project to rejuvenate Simbakkam Lake and its biodiversity. A distinctive feature of the program was a scientific and holistic approach consisting of baseline surveys on watershed, hydrology, biodiversity and community that underpinned the restoration process. Today, Simbakkam Lake is on its way to being the showcase of a thriving, healthy urban wetland. Its successful rehabilitation now offers improved potential to mitigate floods as well as droughts and an enhanced biodiversity habitat with better water quality and native plantations. For the community too, it is a great way to connect with the natural world. Sembakkam Lake is home to a wealth of land birds, the rare Indian black turtle and some near-threatened birds, including the oriental darter, spot-billed pelican, the river tern and black-headed ibis. The lake and its surroundings are also rich in flora of great value, some of them medicinal like Brahmi, gale of the wind and Bhringraj, along with nutrient-rich, edible ones such as balloon vine, purple-fruited pea eggplant. Sembakkam Lake is not just a striking example of the rejuvenation of a water body. It is also about restoring the biodiversity of the area, which is essential for building resilience against the extreme effects of climate change, on which depends the very survival of our species and our planet.